Hey there, it's Mike here. In this video, I will be showing you all the new features we got in the new Procreate Dreams 2 app. I wonder if this app will be able to replace my current animation app. So, let's find out. So, here we are in the theater view and it hasn't changed that much. Same functions, same design, just some changes in our ways to move and organize files. For this, we are going to select these two files. Hit new folder, name it, and apply. We confirm and open the folder. Now here's the new thing, we can move things in and out of the folder. So let's grab one of these files, let's move out, we can drop it here, and we can just bring it back in. So let's grab it again and go into the folder and drop it here, good. So now we can also rearrange the order of the files and it helps a lot with organization. So now let's create a new movie. Let's hit the plus button here in the corner and it looks just like before, right? It has the same design. We only got a small change. Instead of drawing, now we can create a flipbook, okay? So we got the same preset formats and we also got the same options to change FPS and resolution. Okay, so let's create a flipbook. And this is how the app looks now. This is our workspace, but we're gonna use it on an actual animation. So let's go there. Okay, so here we got this file that has a small icon. It means it comes from the previous version of the app. Now let's check that it works. Okay, it's working well, no problem. So let's use it to walk through the app and learn every new feature we got here. Okay, now let's check the movie settings button. Here we got different tabs like project. Here we can access things like duration, resolution, then we got the stage tab. Here we can change things like onion skin. Then we got the timeline. Here we can pick between different playback options. Then we got the chair button. Here we can export our movie in different formats. Then we got the preferences. In preferences we got something new, is keyboard shortcuts. This is something cool that we will be checking in another video. And this is pretty much everything with the movie settings button, but I remember it was a mess before. We have settings all around, so it's good to have them all in one place now. Now let's talk about the timeline modes. We got Compose, Perform and Keyframe. Compose is just to move things around and get the composition we want. Then we got Perform. This is a mode we used to have it in the previous version of the app. We can just record every movement we do on the screen. And now we can just press and hold the icon and we got this motion filtering here that before used to be in another place. Now keyframe mode is just to set keyframes and use the interpolation to move things on the screen. Now, when we want to create uh, an animation, we can just hit the plus button and we get all the media we can create here. So we got the flipbook mode. This is for frame by frame animation. And we got the drawing. These are different now. Drawing is more for backgrounds, for props, for even cutout animation. Then we got text and track. Let's open a flipbook. Okay, so here is the flipbook mode, but we will see that later. Let's go back. And now you see we have these options below. Now the ones above are for creating media inside the app. The ones below are for importing media into the app. So we can import things like photos, videos, and files. And this helps for things like cutout animation. So now we extend the duration of the flipbook and we reduce the duration of the whole movie by dragging this handle on the right. Before we could only do this by changing the settings. So we got the same gestures to move and navigate the timeline. So let's open the flipbook and here we got a timeline with the track and the play button. We also got some settings up here in the left top corner. So let's check the settings. We got Add, Canvas, Onions, and Preferences. Here we got several settings that we can just play around with. 
Then we got the filters like hue, saturation and brightness and then we also got the select option. It looks just like the one on Procreate. Then we got the transform tool and the brushes. Now here on the brushes we got something new. We got the brush library, we got the classic library and then the animation brushes. These are really cool. I hope you can try them out. So we got the same tools as in Procreate. We got the smudge, the eraser, the layers and the eyedropper. So let's check the new features we got here in this timeline in the flipbook mode. We got this button to create new tracks and let's draw something so I can show you what we can do. Let's draw a line. Now here we can toggle off and on the track. We got cut, copy, paste and duplicate options. We can change the opacity. We got several blend modes and we can use it as a mask. We can also clear the track. So this clear option, if we have several drawings, will let us just erase all of the drawings at the same time and we can clear the whole track. That's pretty useful. So now let's use the lasso tool to select several drawings. We can now move all of them together. We can extend the duration of the frames and we can just select one and edit even if it's in between other drawings. Now here we got options to like cut, copy, paste and duplicate. We can insert frames, we can just extend the duration here of the frame and we have the track options too. We can clear the frame and we can delete the frame. Then we got the plus button here to add new drawings. So let's draw something so I can show you what we can do with the select and transform tool. So here we got the same options as in Procreate. Now let's select this area here. Now we can transform, we can distort or we can use the freeform tool. So we can change the shape of our drawings. Now let's go out of the flipbook mode. Now here I want to import a background that I have. Let's just select and open. And now the background is just in front of my animation so I want to bring it behind but instead of grabbing the actual drawing I will just go to this blank space in the right and just drag the whole track. Okay so now let's play it. It looks good but I would like to add some parallax effect so let's do that. Let's go to the compose mode. We can now use the lasso tool to select all my drawings here in the animation and group them together. So we can just move them all together at once. So now we go to the background and we change the size of the background. Now this looks much better now. Let's go to the keyframe mode and let's add keyframes. So here we got the filters but we will use those later. Now we are going to use the move option. So here we got the move and scale, warp and distort. Now let's create a move and scale keyframe and then let's go at the end and create another one. Now we can move our background. By holding with my other finger here, I can just use the snapping option. Okay, so it's looking good. Let's do the same with the character now. Create a keyframe. Let's go to the end, create another one. And now in the first keyframe, we are gonna move to the middle. So we get that parallax effect that we want. So now we have options here for keyframes. We can cut, copy and paste. As you can see, it's quite easy. And then we got the same set easing options that we used to have. So now let's add a filter. I will add a lens blur. Here I can increase and change the settings. And now I will go to timeline and change the playback option to loop. So this is it. Let's play the animation and see how it looks. Okay, it's looking great and that's gonna be all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, comment if you like and let's meet again next time.